In today's world, it seems like everything is upside down. But fortunately for us, there is one guy who still lives up to the ideals of real country music while having a blast doing so. That fella, of course, is Toby Keith. So, in today's video, we are ranking the top five Toby Keith songs of all time. And yeah, I know, it's a very difficult task, if not impossible. Even the top 50 songs by this legend would be tricky. But hey, I'm feeling pretty ambitious. And I do think we have compiled the best five that truly represent Toby Keith and his career. These songs are pretty diverse. They span from the very beginning of Toby's career to his years as an American icon. Some are classic, good time drinking songs, while others are somber odes to the things that truly matter in life. But what they do have in common is that they all embody the things that make Toby Keith's music so good and so pure. They're patriotic, musically adept, and they all hit you like a ton of bricks. So let's go find out if our top five Toby Keith songs are yours too. And we're gonna hear the shocking stories that inspired some of these tunes. But before we begin, please give this video a thumbs up to show support and subscribe to our channel for more country content like this. Are you ready? Well, let's get down to business as we go find out. What, what happened? happened? Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue, 2002. Toby Keith had been putting out well-regarded country music for years before this track came out. But I do believe that this song is what turned him from just a country singer to the Toby Keith. Over just a few spellbinding minutes, Toby managed to speak for an entire country, giving us an incredible song made up of complex emotions of pain and loss, redemption and revenge. But the song is actually a much more personal track to Toby Keith than audiences may believe. Let's peel back the curtain and find out what was really going on during the creation of this classic ode to the greatest country the world has ever seen. In 2001, the country was still reeling from the attack in New York. And like all of us, Toby Keith was also greatly affected by the evil attacks, both for the loss of life and for the damage to the spirit of this great nation. But even before this tragedy, Toby Keith was already reeling from another unimaginable loss. His father, Toby's dad, was a good man who taught the singer everything he knew about God, patriotism, and being a man. And Toby's dad also served our great nation in the armed forces. But as 2001 showed, even the good are vulnerable to senseless tragedy. And this became all too real to Toby Keith when his dad was killed in a car wreck. Inspired by his rage at both of these tragedies, Toby wrote the song courtesy of the red, white, and blue, The Angry American. Believe it or not, it took him only 20 minutes to write. And when he finished, he had maybe his most personal song yet, dedicated to both his country and the man who taught him everything he knew. Beer for My Horses, 2003 with Willie Nelson. Whiskey for my man, beer for my horses. Next up on this list is this matchup between two legends, Toby Keith and Willie Nelson. Before this song came out, many thought the two's styles were too different to blend together well. After all, Willie's old-fashioned crooning and Toby's more powerful modern Americana were different types of country music. And they both said, nah, forget about that, because this song proved that the two singers maybe weren't too different at all. Over a brash and pounding rock-inspired beat, the two trade verses about dealing out justice to evildoers. Willie's cowboy credentials blend with Toby's patriotic flair to make an endlessly compelling track. But even if you love this song, do you know the true story behind it? Toby's previous hit, courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue, gained him lots of acclaim, but it also drew a lot of criticism from people who didn't like that Toby was so patriotic. They accused him of making quote-unquote ignorant bro-country, blind to the fact that Toby was speaking for an entire nation. 
So what did he do? Well, he made one awesome song as a response. By enlisting Willie Nelson for the track, Toby knew exactly what he was doing. Sure, people could still hate on him, but Willie Nelson was a cultural institution. Even people who don't like country music like Willie Nelson, and with his cosign, Toby proved that he had the backing of country legends. But he also did something else. In his song, he continued to spread the message of the courtesy of the red, white, and blue. I mean, this song was so good that Toby Keith got to make a movie based off of it, and even got Willie Nelson to star alongside him. With this song, Toby Keith proved that you can stand by your principles, and at that same time, you can make some awesome country music. Crying for me, 2009. I'm not crying cause I feel so sorry for you. Crying for me. A bit of a change of pace from our previous installments. While the last two songs proved that Toby could stand up for his country, Toby could express tender, sorrowful emotions too. And I included this track because I think it takes Toby out of his comfort zone a bit letting him show off both his ability to sing a tragic ballad and experiment with jazzier production. And boy does it pay off. I mean, this song puts Toby in the ranks of legends like Hank Williams and George Jones. So how did this classic tune come to be? Well, the story, it turns out, is a surprising tale of unlikely friendship and tragic endings. Crying For Me is a tearful ode to Toby's good friend, Wayman Tisdale. Wayman was best known by the general public for playing in the NBA, but while Wayman excelled on the court, his first love was always music, and he continued to record jazz music throughout his career, which is how he met Toby Keith. Upon meeting for the first time, both thought their relationship would be strictly business. After all, the two led drastically different lives. Wayman came from the world of professional sports and jazz music. Toby, of course, stuck to the country lifestyle, but the two found out they had more in common than they thought. Wayman had family ties to Tulsa, Oklahoma, where Toby grew up, and the two developed a deep friendship that lasted for years. But then tragedy struck. When Wayman Tisdale was diagnosed with cancer in 2007, his health deteriorated fast, and by 2009, he passed away. Toby Keith was crushed by yet another loss in his life, and he knew only one way to process his grief, by writing a beautiful song for a friend. American Soldier, 2003. I know it's another patriotic one, but American Soldier is anything but more of the same. It carries on the themes of patriotism always present in Toby's music, but this song is arguably and even more touching ode to this great country. American Soldier thoughtfully touches on another aspect of patriotism that is often underappreciated, but of course no less important. And like all of Toby's best music, it isn't just an abstract appeal to the flag. It's inspired by true events in his life. Like I've mentioned before, Toby's father has inspired his music countless times, both through his brave, rich life and his tragic death. Toby Keith has taken it upon himself to perform his music for active US military troops. And the reaction to his music was overwhelmingly positive. And this touched him to his core. So he chose to dedicate American Soldier to those brave men and women. Should have been a cowboy, 1993. While we have showcased the kind of man and musician Toby is, willing to stand up and defend his country against overwhelming odds, none of that would have been possible without this brilliant tune. This fantastic country song brilliantly blends the two most powerful elements of country music, vivid visions of the West and wistful dreaming. Toby, of course, imagines himself as a cowboy and deftly uses imagery from old westerns like Gunsmoke, among others. But the true genius of this song is that you never once forget that the cowboy dream is just a fantasy. The implicit message then is this. If you can't be a cowboy in the real world, you have to live up to those great western ideals the only way you can. 
by fighting for your country and your family. So our number one Toby Keith song is the one that introduced us to a fantastic country musician. Honorable mentions, Red Solo Cup 2011. Red Solo Cup, I fill you up. Okay, I think this might be the most controversial song Toby has ever made. Some people think it's an instant classic, an unforgettable ode to drinking beer with your best buds, while some other people think it's a little over the top at best, and just plain dumb at worst. So where do I tend to fall? Well, in the more positive camp, of course. Because yes, it's a silly party song, but what kind of party isn't even a bit silly? Not one that I want to be at. So, however it does not crack our top five, it is one hell of a good time. So pass me that red solo cup. I love this bar, 2003. I love this bar. Now this song not only gave Toby Keith a number one hit, but it opened the door to a restaurant franchise. The song wonderfully describes the patrons of a bar on any given day and Toby Keith used the title as the springboard for his chain of I Love This Bar and Grill restaurants. Cha-ching! All right, enough of me, now it's your turn. What do you think? How did we do? Is our top five Toby Keith songs the same as you? What awesome Toby Keith song did we leave off our list? Which is your overall favorite? Who should we do a top five for next? Get in the comments and tell us your thoughts. And before you go, if you enjoyed our video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps. Subscribe to our channel and come back often so we can keep telling you